Hey traders, today I saw a post in our forums from Justin. He's starting to see the importance of daily charts. And a couple other people chimed in and said, yes, these things are very critical. That's why we draw them out in the pre-market. You know, these levels are, are what other traders are looking at. Not just day traders, swing traders, institutions, investors. They're looking at these levels on the higher time frames. And these levels can be potential support levels, resistance levels, areas of consolidation, or whatever the case. Today, I want to talk about them in the context of reversals. How can you better time reversals? How can you increase the probability of catching big reversals at the low of the day or the high of the day? So I have four examples based on charts from today. The first one is match, MTCH. So match is in play, obviously some sort of earnings beat here a few days back, and then it's kind of been trending down ever since, right? Today, it just faded, rejected the VWAP, and then at around 12, it put in these double uh, hammers or double doji candles, whatever you want to call these spinning tops, will actually triple here, right? So triple indecision candles during the lunch hour and then reverse. That was the low of the day, right? So two long uh, bottom wicks there. On the five minute chart, uh, you know, this was a spinning top. This was some sort of a, a perfect doji and off you go on this candle here, right? Let's zoom in even further and see on the two minute chart. This is where it gets really clear what's happening here, right? So you had a triangle, a descending triangle, when it broke, the volume came in and uh, basically sold off, I think over a dollar. And then there was a volume spike here, right? This is interesting. Let's take a look at this, right? Volume spike on this and then even bigger volume on the, the white candle. That's interesting, right? So then it kind of sells off a little bit. And then there's another volume spike here. And then it kind of sells off a bit. And then there's another volume spike here. So if you take a look at this, this is a triple bottom it's a w bottom right where all three of these wicks are kind of at the same area here right and what more importantly is that these were all accompanied by volume significant volume compared to the prior bars right so this tells you that something's happening here there's a there's activity people are buying basically the buyers are stepping up in these points right so if you took this off the 15 minute chart sure you could wait for the new 15 minute high taking it here off you go right that's a pretty decent trade if you took it off the five this is kind of hard to time I'm uh, not really sure what the indicator would be there because clearly this is on some sort of downtrend, right? But if you took, if you were looking at the two minute chart in conjunction with this 15 minute chart, yeah, cool, that's a triple triple bottom, right? That's a pretty uh, pretty good entry if you take it here or here, somewhere in that range. Now, if you throw in the daily chart, okay? So what if we had a magical line that said, hey, the price is probably gonna reverse from here today. Well, if you look at this candle from that day, right? This is the low, this wick here. Let's draw that line here. Let's draw that, boom. That's the line transferred over, right? Basically said, there were buyers on this day that stepped up. Therefore, there's probably gonna be buyers at this level that will step up again, right? Let's take a look at the, um, the 15 minute chart. What, what does that even represent? So on that earnings beat at the open, it dumped and then it got scooped up. That's massive, right? That wick is bigger than the body. So that's really, really strong buying pressure. Buyer stepped up at 82.40, and uh, they didn't fail, right? Today they stepped up at 82.40 on three occasions, one, two, three, basically, right? And that's how that, that's MTCH. Let's take a look at the next chart. All right, the next chart is Yelp. So Yelp, some sort of gap up, but then it faded for the whole day here on a pretty strong downtrend. I'm not sure how you would time that on the five-minute chart. Really, no indicator. The volume wasn't really there. Um, this is this is something we'll look at in closer detail this candle but let's take a look at the 50 minute chart right so it sells off in waves puts in this nice hammer volumes not really indicative of anything but it's a nice bottoming tail so if you take it on the new 50 minute high you put your stop down here you survive through this one hour of chop or even yet you take it on this uh, the boot shape reversal off this right and uh, off you go right so that was probably what a dollar a dollar almost a two dollar move well this is the low of the day what happened here Right, what happened on this specific candle? You really have to go down to the micro time frame to see what really happened, right? We formed some sort of um, consolidation, breakdown, big volume, and then a some sort of spinning top type of thing here. And then we do another W bottom, right? So that double bottom is not very clear on this, this five minute chart. It's roughly uh, between 11.45 to 12.15, right? So this little window here, that's not very, I guess, kind of see like that but this is obviously way more clear here and that marked the low of the day again right this marked the low of the day we didn't really get the volume spike that we saw on mtch although there is volume around this area to show us right that uh, there's obviously some activity here well let's uh, let's take a look at the daily chart and see any indication 
if we drew a line right here on this pivot, right, where the price rejected, right, the price te tested on those three occasions, you would have that right there, more or less, right, 3630. And that's exactly where the buyer stepped up. They either, um, people got out of here because they saw that this was going to probably a, be a bounce from here. So the sellers got out. What do you have to do when you get out? You have to buy to cover. And if you want to go long, what do you need to do? You obviously need to buy, right? So that happened. That happened in uh, these two areas and the buyer stepped up. Off you go. And that's a, a pretty nice move there at the low of the day. All right, next one is DBX. So DBX, huge sell off here from 2050 down to 1852. Uh, it doesn't look like much on this chart just because the open was so violent probably lost most of the two dollars there let's, let's just zoom in a bit here so what happens here something happened here this double bottom type of maneuver here again volume spike on a reversal candle uh, lower 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 volume N not really a spike in this area although this was another kind of reversal candle which tested that previous those, that previous point basically right and, th and that's where the the reversal was put in the first reversal that was put in at uh, right around lunchtime, which would have been here, right? So that's a new 15 minute high. If you're looking purely off the 15 minute high, sure, you can take that, right? Put your stop here, it's 10 cents away. Uh, if you're looking here, you can. Th this basically tell the same story. So that's why I'm always saying it's always good to look at multiple time frames, right? And off the two minute chart, this is a very similar similar type of thing. This is almost a, it's an ugly triple bottom, but if you, even if you kind of exclude that and just do that, it's a, it's a double bottom, right? Basically, um, this volume shows that the buyers are stepping up right at this point here. But what's important here is that there was a level. But before I even get to that level, let's 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 fast forward here, right? So this reversal was good for I believe 40 or 50 cents, and the risk was tiny. It was like five, ten cents or something like that, right? So a good three, four, or five to one, depending where you caught the entry. But that that that's a, a good move for the lunch hour, right? And remember, this is a, a cheaper stock. It's got a low ATR, so you really gotta consider the um, the price action based on the candles that are in front of you, right? So this, that, that's a good stop and an entry right there, right? Stop, entry. So you're getting two to one before this pullback. And then if you want to ride it to VWAP, that's uh, probably four to one. Anyways, let's go to the end of the day. I started calling this in the room. Uh, this is obviously not as pretty as what we saw earlier, right? This is just a consolidation chop, right? This, there's no indication to say the price will reverse from here, but because we know about levels right we know about the significance of levels we saw that 1840 was low of the day so what happened when it got to 1840 it refused to break right each time it looked like it was going to crack people were stepping up people were stepping up right there's just no selling happening down there well there is obviously there is buying and selling but the pressure was just not there to drive it any lower right so on that new 15 minute high right at the beginning of power hour right at three o'clock is where it just took off and what did it do well it went right back up to test that same let's just zoom out here right that same high that it made here right so this is not a coincidence this is not a coincidence price will remember price has a memory basically because people have a memory now wh where would we find this 1840 as a good reversal point well let's go back to the theme of this video here let's go to the daily chart we have to go pretty far back to see where it last tested these areas well this is it basically right 1850 is where we had this low on uh, New Year's Eve of 2018, so about seven, eight months, or eight, nine months ago. That's basically the low that it tested. Um, and if you had that on your chart beforehand, you would know that when you saw this W, w bottom happening here, this is probably a significant area that a reversal is likely to happen. On to the next video. All right, this last example has nothing to do with reversals, but it's a good example of how intraday price action will respect levels from the daily chart. So AMD broke out around lunchtime here and then started trending for most of the afternoon before reversing. Now, it, once it broke out from the high of the day here, it kind of just went on a on a spree and it counted its first red candle here. So let's zoom in and see what that red, happened at that red candle. Well, basically that red candle uh, was this shooting star. So it faced some sort of resistance there, right? And then when it overcame the resistance, it kind of double tested, came back down and then hammered off of that, right? So this was some sort of struggle that happened there. Off it goes, continues trending, comes back down. And then we kind of enter this downtrend area. And then, but what happens? It bounces right there, bounces. So there's some sort of support happening. And then some crazy stuff happened here. I don't know if this was a fat finger or whatever, but there's basically a, a 50 cent candle on the two minute chart. That was crazy, it's wild. Anyways, and then, then there's some sort of kind of 
coiling effect happening around here, right? So if you draw a line kind of halfway through where the fight's happening, it's around there. And then it rejected here. What happens if we extend that? Rejected there and rejected there, right? So obviously something is important about this 3475 level, right? We have we have resistance, we have a fight, we have support, we have a fight, right? This is, this is basically a fight happening all around here. Then we have resistance, we have resistance, we have resistance. And then it keels over and sells off basically, right? So that level, if we take a look from the daily chart, it's pretty obvious for anyone who's looking here, that level is this top that's been tested twice, right? In the past, it's basically here, tested once and twice. So because of that significance, there's other traders who are looking at that level, right? Look at where the shooting star happened. Perfect rejection there. All these, right? This is either people are doing what they did before. They were selling there, right? When they got here. But you got to remember that old resistance will become new support, right? So if you break through here, this was, it, it was uh, resistance. It broke through, then it became support, right? It became support kind of along this whole area. That's why it refuses to lose it. But when it does lose it, then what happens? Support becomes resistance. I've mentioned that in previous videos, right? These lines, they can flip the script on you based on where the price is relative to it. So I hope that's a, a useful example, not a reversal per se, but that's just important to have that level on your screen, right? So you know that you don't want to, you're going to face this line when you, if you're either going to go short or long, and there could be some sort of consolidation, things can get ugly there or, or whatever the case. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. And thank you for watching.